we just arrived here and we've just learned, guess what? There's 15 cows now seized out here at Animal Care and Control. They've seized these malnourished cows under sort of some unusual circumstances. With me now live is Animal Care and Control Captain Dave Waleski. Dave, how did you guys find out about these cows and why did you take them? Uh, we started receiving complaints about six weeks ago. We were very concerned about them. They were being maintained on 20 acres with no natural grazing. It was just barren soil with some trees. Uh, we were trying to get the owner to provide proper care for these animals, and it just wasn't happening. And so how long have you known about this? We've been working with the owner for about six weeks trying to get her to do what's right, and it had to come to this. Well, meantime, the cows are obviously skinny. We can see their ribs are showing. They look like they should weigh several hundred pounds more. What will you do with them now? Well, we've got them on our property. They're going to be getting the best of care over the next few weeks, and then we'll have a court date, and ultimately a judge will make a decision on where the cows end up. And does this lead us to any criminal charges when we see animals like this uh, and the owner apparently has refused to cooperate in giving them adequate food and shelter? That is a strong possibility at this point. It's going to be based on the veterinarian's determinations, but we definitely have intent. We've been doing everything we can to get this person to do right, and it just wasn't happening. There was no food on this property that was able to keep these animals in a healthy existence. Okay, and finally, I understand there may have been some sort of tax reason the owner was even sheltering the cows on the property? Well, what we see a lot of times is on vacant land, you know, if the land is worth, if, I'm sorry, if the land is worth a lot of money, the taxes are, are pretty high. But there is a process for agricultural exemption, and we'll see people do that sometimes where they basically will park livestock on the property and try and qualify for an ag exemption. Interesting. All right, thank you very much, Captain Dave Woleski. Again, these cows are safely now here at Animal Care and Control, getting the care and the food that they so desperately need. Live in West Palm Beach, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.